everybody, Joe Oceanside here, and today we are in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We are here for the 2020 lobster mini season. Lobster mini season is the opening day of lobster season, so lobsters should be more plentiful this time of the year than at any point in the season. So today we're gonna to be using our scuba gear to get down on the reef and find the lobsters. We got old school Roger with us. And today we're gonna to be trying something new out. I got a new lobstering net from Lobster League Gear. They invented this awesome foldable lobster net and tickle stick that magnets on the handle. So this is a really awesome combo for lobstering. I'm really excited to get in the water and catch some lobsters with this. Anyway guys, let's get out on the reef and take a look. Scary thoughts, I got scary thoughts. Lost control, now I'm taking charge. Breaking bills, friends breaking off. You could be the youngest, I'm the d d dawn all right, we made it out to the reef. It was a rough ride out here. It's a windy day, but we've got our gear geared up and ready to jump in and find some lobsters. Remember those days, those L's, I could sleep right now. I get paid, vacay, I'm staying peace. i breaking the blues over steak. I got to eat right. You could be my peace, son. One of the hardest things about lobstering can be finding the lobsters. If you don't find the lobsters, you're not going to be able to catch them. They usually hide out under ledges like this or they hide out in little holes. Once you locate the lobsters, you can use your tickle stick, tap the lobster on the back of his tail and try and work him out of the hole. Once you get him out of his hole, you can line your net up behind him and try and get him into the net. It can be tricky, but once you get that net lined up behind him, you tap them on the antenna and they'll jump right into your net. Now this lobster league net's pretty awesome because you can snap it shut and always take your gauge out and measure the lobsters. If the lobster's too small, you must release it. We always follow the rules and do everything legally. Hey, real quick, we're trying to let YouTube know that people love videos about the ocean and about going out and having fun in the outdoors. So if you could, please give this video a like and please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out in spreading the message. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Back to the video. Now that gauge there, if it's able to slip over that carapace of the lobster, that means the lobster's too small. So the gauge needs to not be able to fit on the lobster. And you can take them and you can put them in your catch bag. Looks like old school's on a lobster here under this ledge. Now check out the lobster league net. He's got, already got it folded part way shut. Gets that lobster into it, boom, snaps that net shut. We got him in the bag. Now this lobster here, look, it's got eggs on it. So if it's a female with eggs, you have to let it go. That's the rules. So we put that lobster right back in its hole very gently. Hopefully it can lay eggs and make more lobsters for us next year. Now for this lobster, I'm gonna use a snare instead of the net. So the snare, you, you can kind of use it like a tickle stick to try and work that lobster out of his hole. And once you have a clear shot on the lobster, you're gonna take the loop on the snare, get it over the lobster's tail, and then you're gonna yank it shut. Later in the video, I'm gonna show you a really easy and good way to cook these up for a tasty meal. So take that snare, get it behind the lobster, try and work them out of the hole a little bit, get the loop over them, and snap it shut. And again, first thing you always wanna do after you catch a lobster, you're always gonna take your gauge, check the size of the lobster. If it's too small, you let them go right away. Old school's on another lobster under this ledge here. Now check this lobster out. Sometimes when you start working the lobsters, they shoot out like a rocket. You don't even have time to prepare for them. But thankfully that jumped right into old school's net. This lobster here is real wary. I couldn't work him out from under the hole, so I had to get the lasso over the tail and I had to snap it shut while he was still under the ledge. And again, first thing I do, I pull my gauge out and I check him. And the gauge cannot fit all the way over the carapace, so that means he is good, so he goes in the catch bag. Now, old school's on another lobster over here. He's gonna start working him out with his tickle stick here. Now he's getting his net in position first, just in case that lobster decides to make a run for it like that. Boom, he's got him in the net. Snap that lobster league net shut and you got him. Look at this, this is a good size lobster right here. Let's put the gauge on him. Look at that, his shell is like three quarter of an inch bigger than the gauge. So that's a really good size lobster. I'm really happy with that one. Now look at this lobster. He's starting to come out of the hole right when I started looking at him. He knows it's coming. Sometimes you get a lobster that just will not come out of the hole. It'll go real deep in the hole. So old school sticks his arm right in there and he just grabs that lobster's body and he pulls it out. Now this lobster here, it's got eggs on it. It looks like that orange furry stuff on the underside. So if it has eggs, you must release it immediately. I got my lobster league net shut most of the way. 
All ready to go for the lobsters. Lobster goes in, snap it shut the rest of the way, and he's not getting out. Again, first thing I do is I take it, check it with my gauge. If it fits, I put it in my catch bag with all my other lobsters. Old school's on another one here. Now look at this, this lobster shot off like a rocket right past his legs, right out into the open. So it's good to have two divers, that way one can spot the other one. If the lobster decides to make a run for it, you can keep an eye on it and you know where he goes. So he's out in the open, real easy to lasso once they get out into the open like that. Check him with the gauge like always. That's a good size there. He's about a half inch over the gauge, so he looks good. So we're gonna put him in our catch bag. Another lobster coming right out of the hole. And I'm gonna try, oh, and look at that. He took off like a rocket. Now, sometimes you get a lobster that's real ornery and he just does not wanna cooperate. Some of them are smarter than others and some are a lot faster than others and they're really hard to catch. And I'm just struggling with this one. I cannot get it. So I had to switch over to my lasso. In this case, for some reason, he just wasn't as spooked of the lasso as he was of the net. Put our gauge on him, and look, he's a good size. He's about half inch bigger than the gauge, so that's a nice size lobster. Stuff him in the catch bag. That bag's starting to get really full, man. So look at this lobster here, working him out of the hole, and boom, he took off like a rocket right into old school's net. Snapped it shut. Now we're gonna get these lobsters up, and I'm gonna show you an easy way to clean them and cook them up and make an awesome dinner out of these guys. Kill, kill them. Now, all right, now twist it right off. We got 23 lobsters for three people. So it's not really a limit. A limit would have been 36 lobsters. Really happy these are gonna be super tasty. So we're gonna get these cleaned up, get the tails wrung off. All right, so here's how we clean them here. He's gonna take a piece of the antenna and break off a piece of the antenna. And then he's gonna stick the antenna down in the bottom of the GI tract. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna separate the intestine from the tail. Because when you pull this tail off, you want the intestine to come out and stay in the head part. You don't want the intestine in the tail because that could contaminate the meat when you cook it. So he sticks the broken antenna in there and that tears the GI tract out from the tail. And then once he takes it out, he's gonna grab one firm hand on the head, one firm hand on the tail and give it a nice twist and pull. And that tail is gonna pop right out with all that beautiful meat on it. Look at that tail, that is gorgeous meat in there. That's gonna make a beautiful dinner, man. I'm so excited. We've got the lobster tails all cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and cook these bad boys up right here. Now, normally I would take these outside and grill them on the grill. However, it is very dark and stormy tonight. So I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. We're gonna broil these in the oven and we're gonna see how that turns out. We're actually gonna butterfly these tails, which means we're gonna cut down the shell and pop the meat out, season it up, and we're gonna put it in the broiler. So I'm hungry, so let's get to it. heard the timer go off in the oven. We're gonna pull the lobsters out and see how they look. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Mmm, very good. Wow. Lobster mini season 2020 was a success. We used the new folding net from Lobster League. That thing was awesome. That was the best net I've ever used. It made it so easy to catch the lobsters. I found a new way to cook lobsters. Super tasty. I really enjoyed it. Overall, I had a great time and I really enjoyed being out on the water catching lobsters. I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you did, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to the channel for more great underwater content. Thanks again. Now get out in the ocean and explore.